Welcome back to Levity Books, my name is Liam and I hope you've been reading well. You might notice that my voice sounds a little nicer in this video, I have got a new microphone so we're having some quality updates for the channel. Thanks for sticking around, if you haven't subscribed already please do, I'm going to be keeping at this for quite a while and I'm still finding my way so any feedback you can give in the comment section will be great. Poor by Caleb Fahmy was a debut poetry collection released late in 2020 in the UK and it was shortlisted and longlisted for many literary prizes. And it's about young black boys growing up in a poor neighbourhood in London. It's currently one of the highest rated books that I've ever read on Goodreads with an average rating of 4.58 stars. Here's a reading from my favourite poem of the collection, Trauma is a Warm Bath. Just ask the paramedic at the scene. He knew the body was shoebox empty, but all this training didn't tell him what to do when a boy gets shot at a funeral and the crowd are unwilling to ration bowed heads between two dead bodies. How bizarre is it to give CPR to a vacant body for 30 minutes? His sorriest apology. So this review is slightly controversial as I'm weighing in with my opinion and to me, poor doesn't feel like a finished poetry collection. It seems too inconsistent in tone, in quality, in structure. I found the collection slightly too long. And while there are some very good poems there, and I'm listing them on screen, these are the ones that really I enjoyed, there are many that I just couldn't get my head around. There are many poems which I felt were a bit out of place and I couldn't really appreciate as much. Because I found not enough unity or direction in this collection, it's hard for me to know exactly what the author wanted us to take away from this collection. The poems are all too similar in their theme of death, and I just wish there was more of a narrative that was built out of the seven sections in the book. All that said, I'm glad that Poor exists as a work of poetry. I'm glad that black men are finally being represented in British literature and culture, and there are some parts of this work that really did remind me of London and it's nice to read books that have that element. I don't doubt that Caleb Fahmy's future work is going to be much better, I just was frustrated with how inconsistent this work was because it seems like a case of bad editing has let down a powerful voice from going on to win the prizes that they should have won. This is often something I see with a lot of works from debut authors, the works are often too experimental or ambiguous and they play around with style too much it's almost like they're just variations on a theme and it's only until later where you see the the work come become something of its own and I think we will see that with Caleb Fahmy I just don't see it in poor. A final point is I really like the poetry community in London I was a big fan of going to see spoken word poetry at the Roundhouse in London which is a fantastic venue if you haven't been there before and in the last say five six years they've really been expanding to include previously underrepresented voices in London so this work will go on to inspire lots of people that are living in London and working in the poetry community so I'm all for that and I think Caleb Fahmy's work would translate very well to the form of spoken poetry just from the way that it's so raw and it's so varied in style throughout this collection I think it would work really well with that so I do appreciate that this work is coming to light I just don't think this is where it's got to end I think there needs to be more of this and I see there's more to be done here so I would recommend Poor by Caleb Fahmy only to people who are looking at contemporary poetry from London and contemporary black poets, but I wouldn't recommend it to those looking for general poetry because it's not quite a true representation of what Caleb Fahmy has to offer us. That's it for now. Happy reading.